She hired a mover, put $2,000 down, and now all her belongings appear to be lost or worse, stolen. The company she hired out of Aurora has an office that is now empty. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn is live now. Russell, this is an interesting case because there's the mover and a moving broker involved. Yeah, and the mover appears to have skipped town. The moving broker says it is doing what it can to help. The broker says its job is much like Orbitz.com or Expedia. When you book a flight or a hotel, Orbitz compiles a list of the best flights, the cheapest flights on all the airlines and at many of the hotels. Moving APT says it does the same thing for movers, but that didn't work out so well for Amber Carlton. One of our professional moving teams will carefully load your belongings and shift them to your new location. Their sales pitch sounds great. Moving APT finds the best deal for you and contracts with a mover to get your things from here to there. No stress, no worries. For Amber Carlton, it's been all stress, all worries. My heart is breaking. Like, this is my world. APT contracted Amber's move from Aurora to Fargo, North Dakota to these guys, America Wide Movers based in Aurora. That was August 18th. They said it would be 10 days to deliver. It's been seven weeks. My coats, my boots, my, I'm in North Dakota. When Amber sent her friend, Kristen Smith, to America Wide's office. Nobody was there. There is an empty office building, no signage, nothing. We found the same thing, an empty office on Smith Road. According to the BBB, America Wide has a C- rating with complaints including customers who never received their property. I thought I was doing the adult thing by hiring movers. The broker, Moving APT, told me it believes Amber's stuff is simply lost in storage. Amber is rightfully skeptical. Your booking company, that's fine, but you should know who you're booking. Her receipts detail the two grand she put down. The worst part, she says, are the lost keepsakes from her mother and grandmother. This is the last I have of either of them. Amber filed this report with the Aurora Police Department yesterday. We checked with the APD tonight. They say they have one other similar recent report. Also, Amber filed a grievance with the insurance company for the mover. Much more to come on this. For now, we're live in the newsroom. Russell Haythorn, 7 News. Yeah, that is a nightmare. Thank you, Russell. There were 9,000 complaints against moving companies in the U.S. last year filed with the Better Business Bureau. So they suggest people verify the company has a license and go online to thoroughly research the company's reputation. More advice is attached to this story online at thedenverchannel.com.